George Washington, a name synonymous with the birth of the United States and one of its most revered founding fathers, played a pivotal role in shaping the nation's history. From his early years to his leadership during the Revolutionary War and his presidency, Washington's life is about dedication, courage, and an unwavering commitment to the principles of liberty. George Washington was born on February 22, 1732 in Westmoreland County, Virginia, to Augustine and Mary Washington. Raised in a family of modest means, he received limited formal education, but developed a strong work ethic and moral character. As a young man, Washington worked as a surveyor, gaining valuable skills that would later contribute to his success. Washington's military career began during the French and Indian War between the years of 1754 and 1763, where he demonstrated leadership and bravery, earning the respect of his peers and his superiors. His experiences in the frontier laid the groundwork for the strategic acumen he would later employ during the Revolutionary War. As tensions escalated between the American colonies and Great Britain, George Washington emerged as a leading voice in the call for American independence. In 1775, he was appointed as the Commander-in-Chief of the Continental Army, marking the beginning of his iconic role in the American Revolution. Facing numerous challenges, including a lack of resources, a poorly trained army, and harsh weather conditions, George Washington displayed remarkable resilience and strategic brilliance. The turning point came with the daring winter crossing of the Delaware River in the year 1776, followed by the pivotal victories at Trenton and Princeton. These successes bolstered the morale of the Continental Army and demonstrated Washington's ability to adapt and persevere in the face of adversity. Valley Forge became another crucible for the American forces. Despite the harsh winter conditions, Washington's leadership and the training provided by Baron von Steuben transformed the Continental Army into a more disciplined and effective fighting force. The Treaty of Paris, signed in 1783, formally ended the Revolutionary War, with George Washington resigning his commission and returning to civilian life at Mount Vernon, symbolizing the triumph of the American cause and the establishment of a new nation. Washington's influence did not wane after the war. He presided over the Constitutional Convention in the year 1787, where the United States Constitution was drafted, unanimously elected as the first president of the United States in the year 1789, Washington sent numerous precedents during his first two terms in office. His leadership established the foundation for the executive branch and the delicate balance of powers outlined in the U.S. Constitution. Washington's farewell address in the year 1796 is a testament to his commitment to the principles of democracy, cautioning against the perils of political factionism and foreign entanglements. His decision to voluntarily step down from the U.S. presidency after just two terms set an important precedent for the peaceful transfer of power. George Washington's legacy extends far beyond his military and political achievements. His character, integrity, and dedication to the ideas of liberty left a mark on the nation that he helped create. Even during his lifetime, he was often referred to as the father of his country. George Washington passed away on December 14, 1799 at Mount Vernon. The nation mourned the loss of its revered leader, but his legacy endured. His contributions to the founding of the United States continue to be celebrated, and his image is memorialized on the $1 bill and in monuments such as the Washington Monument in the nation's capital. Today, when we reflect on George Washington's history, we see a man whose steadfast leadership, humility, and commitment to the principles of freedom 
played a crucial role in shaping the United States. His story serves as an enduring source of inspiration and a reminder of the resilience required to build a nation from the ground up.